We have a hall of heroes on one hand. We also have a hall of shame as a lesson to future generations. But the apology has been most touching. On behalf of the Nigerian people, accept it. Accept, and I'm sure that most Nigerians will agree with me. It's a beginning. I do not agree that this is closure to the events of June 12th. There are far too many traumatized individuals walking around the streets, popularized individuals as a result of the policies and the attitude of one of the most brutal dictators that this nation, if not the most brutal, in fact, the most brutal dictator that this nation has ever known. Closure will come by responding to those traumatized individuals, the victims of unspeakable tortures, some of whom were compelled even to watch their beloved ones being tortured on behalf of a man who was determined not just to demonize, to dominate his environment, but to dehumanize that environment. All that is left to me because much has been said today which has covered much of the grounds I wanted to cover. All that is left to me is to plead that we do not forget the nameless, the unsung heroes and heroines of that struggle. Um, a number of names have already been listed. I would like to include, by the way, one of the pioneers, the instigators of the physical confrontation with that dictator, Comrade Ola Oni, who mobilized a number of young people and fought the goons and the slaves, the surrogates of that dictator to a standstill in that propitiously named stadium in Ibadan, Liberty Stadium. But above all, I want us always to remember that individual whom we are principally celebrating today, the man who said, who reappeared and represented himself as a man who did not understand the word surrender, saying, my name is Moshud Kashimawu Abiola. I'm back to reclaim my mandate. Thank you very much. We thank Professor Wale Shoyinka for his remarks. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, may I now invite Sir Fidelis Nanmia Tapgon, representing the former SDP governors within the Northern States, to please come forward and make a short remarks. Mr. President, the Vice President, I want to maintain all the other protocols. I want on behalf of my colleagues, two of us are going to speak, but I'm speaking on behalf of those of us from the northern part of the country, to thank the President. This unexpected gesture came from an unexpected quarters. Definitely. And I think to bring this matter to an end, something that has been lingering in the last 25 years with the stroke of a pen, I want to thank you, sir. And I want to congratulate you on this historic event today. Those of us that were on the ground knew exactly what we went through because Nigerians came out in their numbers irrespective of religion, irrespective of tribe. The president and his vice were all Muslims, and Nigerians came out en masse to vote for them. This was what we expected Nigerians to take off from then on, but it was annulled, and we found ourselves where we are today. But thank God this is being rectified, 
And I think we will take off from there to make sure that Nigerians are Nigerians, irrespective of where you come from, irrespective of what religion you belong to, so that this country can move. Mr. President, sir, I want to thank you again and to pray that God continues to give you the courage to continue to do what you are doing. Because this chapter that you have brought to a close today is what will linger on for the rest of our lives. Once more, I want to thank you, Mr. President, the Vice President, and everybody that is part of this decision. Again, I want to congratulate the recipients. We knew what we went through, sir. We knew what we went through. But thank God it has come to an end today. Thank you very much, sir. Your Excellencies, a nation of greatness, a moment of greatness. May I now invite Chief Olusegun Oshoba. Mr. President, the Vice President, Your Excellencies, <clears throat> I join all of us in expressing gratitude to Almighty God for making us witness this historic occasion. As the sitting governor of Ogu State, the home state, of the late Bashano MKO Abela in 1993, I was in the forefront and an active participant in the politics of the era. I shared the fears, the pains, and anxieties of fellow Nigerians about those developments. Since that annulment, our efforts are building an enduring democracy have not always been smooth. Many have sought to falsely consign the promise of the June 12 election to irrelevance. We have lived in denial for so long. The decision by Mr. President, President Muhammad Ubari, to halt the deceit and to repair the damage by taking this symbolic step of recognizing the promise of June 12, the sacrifice of Bashanu. M.K. Wabella and many other heroes of democracy nationally and internationally, the artisans, human rights organizations, students, traders, journalists, academics, various professionals, participants here, organized religion and the labor movement. Through this confinement of GCFR award, on Chief Abella is welcome. So is the proclamation of June 12 as our democracy day. It is never too late to correct a wrong. We congratulate Mr. President and members of his government for this historic occasion. We commit the President to the guidance of Almighty God for the courage and wisdom, and we are praising, praying Him to do more by building on the larger implications of the June 12 election for the sustainable progress and development of Nigeria. Since I have access as a party member, 
I can always reach the president. 